Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are taking a very special field trip. Jerry and I are in Virginia, Stewart's Draft, Virginia, here at the plant company. Maybe you've never heard of the plant company before. Well, that's probably because they are basically a brand new business that is starting um, just this highest quality of house plants that we have ever seen. They, um, oh, I just can't wait to show you all this stuff. We have walked through the greenhouse, the whole nursery, spent a couple of hours here with the sweet folks, and it's just absolutely amazing. Honestly, right? Jenny is not a huge house plant person. I'd rather be outside. But we were going through here and I was like, yeah, I can see myself being turned into a house plant because these are not your house plants that you are used to. These are some just high quality, rare genetics that are absolutely stunning. So we're gonna walk you through and kind of give you an overview of a house plant nursery and, and how it came to be and, and all of the plants in here. Now. Where we are, um, and first I will say too, is that um, the plant company is partnering with Proven Winners. So uh, I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera, but the misters just turned on. So I got my own little personal mister going on. Um, so the plant company and Proven Winners have partnered together. So Proven Winners will be having a whole new house plant line available in independent garden centers this spring. Creekside, of course, will have some of these fantastic plants here from here at the nursery. Um, and I will say it's really important to the owners here at the plant company that they only offer their plants to independent garden centers. They do not want to have their things in big box stores because quality is extremely important to them. And they know that these independent garden centers more often times than not, take really good care of their plants. Sometimes big box stores might be a little questionable. So you will find these only at independent garden centers with Proven Winner's name on them. Now, where we are standing right now is the nursery of the plants. 80% of their house plants come from TC, tissue culture. So it's a whole different world than say starting plants from seed or cuttings. So 80% comes from tissue cultures, 20% does come from cuttings. Here you will see plants that are tinted. These are tissue cultures. So this is where they are getting them rooted, getting them established before they can then move them up to larger containers. So again, this is where the babies begin. Um, just really interesting. So of course everything is in different bays, right? So this whole area um, and then there's a whole nother section behind Jerry that is where um, all these little babies get started. It's the plastic, of course, with the clips underneath them because they have to control the, the humidity levels and so forth and so on. Once they're rooted, then they come out of the tents and get moved up. So let's come down here and let me show you some of the great plants that they have. You'll notice that they grow everything on the floor. Just like when we visited all of the Proven Winter Nurseries um, this past summer, fall, everything's grown on the floor because the floors will flood and they get watered from the bottom. There's a whole layering system under here. This is not just concrete. There is sand, there's gravel, there's layers of the landscape fabric. Really interesting. All of their water that they use here at the plant company is self-contained. That means it gets recycled. So it'll flood, the plants get watered, it'll go away, and then it goes into these three huge, massive tanks that recycle the water. Computer analyzes the contents of that water, and then depending on where the water is going in the greenhouse, it will add the specific fertilizer nutrients that that water that the plants need for that water. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. So let's go through here. Um, and I am not a house plant person aficionado with all of the names. Um, basically, this is the fern bay. Okay, so I do know a little bit to say like this is um, a bird's nest fern and there's this is the small variety pot and then there is um, larger ones that we will show you but just fantastic I think this is bird's nest yes it is 
So this is a little one. If you know a bird's nest on the ends, as they get more mature, they'll get really frilly. We'll show you some more later on. But this is a bird's nest. Um, of course, the ferns that caught my eye are the blue ones. Stay right there. So this is Blue Star. And I have permission to do this. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a blue fern before. Look at that color. Is that not just absolutely glorious? Green is a color, but there are a ton of different shades of green. Just come to me. You're good. We'll get it. Um, so yes, green is a color, but there are a thousand different shades of green and blues and variegations and burgundies and pinks. Just glorious. Yes. Okay. So not only do we have ferns on this side, we have ferns on this side. So let's go over here um, and show you some of these. And what too, what I love about, um, about this nursery is that these are, this is a fern. This is a fantastic, beautiful fern. They love this fern, but they said it's really hard to kind of care for for the consumer because if it ever gets dried out, it doesn't recover very well. So they're probably not going to continue this in the line for very long. So they're constantly looking and they're thinking of the consumer. How is this going to perform for the consumer in their house? Is it easy? Is it, you know, low maintenance, really fussy because they know and want for everybody to have beautiful house plants in their house without having to be, you know, this super expert on house plant care. Um, there is, oh, look, okay. Look at that. This is the same bird's nest fern that I showed you just a minute ago, but look at that. Isn't that a beautiful plant? Just gorgeous. What's really neat though is down here, Look at this. There's so many of them. Oh, okay. This might look like something that you buy at Ikea or Hobby Lobby. This is not fake. This is not plastic. This is a real life plant. This is a mother fern. It is gorgeous. And I say it looks fake because it's so perfect. It is just an exquisite specimen of a plant. Love it. And I will say too, it's really neat how they have the greenhouse set up because house plants have different light requirements, right? So ferns, we know naturally we think of shady areas. So in the beginning where the nursery was with the babies, that's a low light area. And as we work our way down the greenhouse, the light exposure increases. So the ones that prefer more shade, less, you know, less of that sun can go in those darker rooms are up here. And then the brighter ones are down at the other end of the nursery. Just really pretty. Everything, um, their goal here at the plant company is to work towards only having patented plants. That means that they are unique and exclusive and rare and that you can't find them just anywhere, um, which I think is really fun because there's always something new to find and discover and to add to your collection. Okay. Moving on down the nursery into some higher light areas. Look at this color, right? We were talking about color and different variation. I love this plant is fantastic. This is the one though that is the showstopper. Let me get my hands right here for you. And I don't remember, I do not remember what this was. I'm terrible. But wouldn't that be pretty in your house? But wouldn't that be gorgeous in your house? Right. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, I think we think of like house plants as just like, you know, a plain green plant, right? Oh, no, 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 no. The plant company is bringing all sorts of new genetics and colors to our house. It's fantastic. You need something a little burgundy? There you go. Pop a color. Tons of color. There's a lot of, there's lime green. There's gold behind Jerry. 
lots of different colors, lots of different textures, um, lots of different sizes. Some are short and petite. We'll get down to the ficus trees here in a minute. Um, they're a highlight plant and um, look, look at this. This is an alocasia, absolutely gorgeous, fantastic, exquisite. Now, I know for people, um, nurseries, independent garden centers like Creekside, we've never carried house plants before. Love the plant company because they are going to make it really easy for us to carry these plants. Basically, they're going to sell us a variety pack whatever at the time of shipment is looking primo and looks great they're going to send us so we're guaranteed like for example so many alocasias different varieties of alocasias but depending on what looks great at the time they'll send us different varieties so that makes life on our end really nice and we can constantly be ordering and every order can have different plants in it which is fun for you the consumer because you get to come back and see us because we might have something brand new now, if you're sitting there going, Jenny, I kill everything. I cannot keep house plants alive. Well, let me introduce you to the, you cannot kill these plants unless you try really, really hard section. These all are ficuses. And so these ficus can come in a gazillion different colors. So depending on the variety and depending on what you want, look at those colors, huge, beautiful leaves, gorgeous colors in them extremely hard to kill so every once in a while you give it a little splash of water and you're good to go um, you can leave these in these size pots if you want to or you can move them up as they grow it's totally up to you um, but come on down here so there's some some peaches and some reds in here of course the dark greens but then if you need something bright look at this look at that color nice pop of color so if you have an area that needs a little bit of a bright spot needs a little bit of love in your house this would be a gorgeous one to add to it this is I don't even know it's a ficus like I said they're all ficuses in here um, oh gorgeous and as the garden center they they we can get them as different sizes right so the pot sizes come in different um sizes <laughs> don't know how else to say that so you can have some smaller ones and you can have some bigger ones um let's go look at the um those plants down there all right we are moving into the higher light section i just told jerry i said it's getting a little toasty in here there's snow all over the ground outside but you go to the high light areas and it gets a little warm it's all good now these two are ficuses ficuses um, maybe what you're more thinking of as a ficus tree gorgeous color but the genetics of these is that again extremely low maintenance but they're not going to drop their leaves. Sometimes traditional um, ficuses can be very temperamental. If you move them, if you don't care for them, they just drop their leaves, right? And they just look naked and bare and they look sad. Well, not these genetics. They are um, very low maintenance, can tolerate change well with hardly any leaf drop at all. So here is a beautiful variegated one. This is Samantha. I can pronounce Samantha. So we have Samantha right here. Then we have Danielle. I'm sensing a theme here, folks. So again, you could keep these in, the, in your pots like this. This would be a great, you know, if you have an office, right? This is a great little desk plant. If you want to leave it on your desk, it starts to grow, gets a little bit too big for your desk and you start to see roots come out the bottom. If you want to move it up, move it up then it becomes a floor plant either way you can either leave it here or you can move it up um, but they are they are beautiful growing healthy um, just exquisite and gorgeous one last section of plants that I want to show you before we sign off for today are caladiums now these caladiums are going to be different than the traditional caladiums that we think of and their babies right so these caladiums 
will not go dormant, which is really fun. Um, so that means that you have, huh? The hope. That is the hope, rather. The hope that they do not go dormant because our caladiums that we grow, um, you know, in the summertime and then we try to bring them in during the winter, oftentimes they will kind of peter out in the winter time because they, they have to go through that cycle of dormancy. These, the hope is, is that they don't have to do that so that you would have continuous foliage. But just like other caladiums, that we're used to, the colors are just magnificent. Lots of different colors. So then there's some whites, there's some burgundies, there are pinks. Um, so this is one that they are kind of testing out to see how they do. Um, look at that, isn't that neat? So pretty. Lots of gorgeous things. So this has been a really fun trip for us. It was about a four, four and a half hour drive that Jerry and I took this morning. Lauren went off at four o'clock this morning. We were out the door by 530 after we took the puppy to the potty and uh, got up here around 10, spending a couple hours and then we are headed home. It has been a fantastic trip, really eye opening, very exciting. Like I'm really excited to have these available at Creekside. If you are not local to Creekside, contact your local garden center. Tell them about the plant company. They have a great website. You can order directly from the plant company. So contact your local garden center because they are wholesale only. Your, your local garden center has to be the one to order them. Can't do it retail. Um, but encourage them to check out their program because they have such different um, ease of ordering, right? So you can do those variety packs that what we're looking at doing. So, contact your local garden center, tell them to check out the plant company, get some of these plants into their garden center so that you can have them in your home. I hope you have found this fun. I hope it's been enjoyable. As always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.